can enter into this video. Maybe I could just... Hey, no. Welcome back. This, uh, it's been a long time since I've, uh, no, that was terrible. Welcome back to the man cave. No, it's not a man cave. It's more of a dungeon, isn't it? I finally bit the bullet. I finally bit, I finally updated my Sony's. My A7 III's have been through just over five years of thick weddings, motorsport, drifting, you name it. These things have been absolutely bulletproof. And as you would have seen, I got invited down to the Eastern Creek by Sony and DigiDirect. Ah, why can I not say that word? DigiDirect. Digi, I need to slow it down. DigiDirect. It was great to go down and uh, talk cameras, shoot some drifting, especially with Maddie. Playing with all the new lenses, all the new bodies, uh, it really could see the difference between my old A7s. Which brings me to updating. You know, what did I go with? Well, um, if you uh, can read clearly here. No, down. That way. Can we focus on that one? Here we go. Sony FX3, cinema line. This thing is an absolute weapon. Uh, you know, straight off the bat, 10 bit, 4K, 100 frame, 100 plus FPS. What, what did I write down here? Uh, seriously though, if you're after a well in depth tech video with the ins and outs on this camera, this is not it. Uh, this is actually a video of me getting my first hands on it, going out to a drift event and, uh, you know, really putting it through its paces and seeing how it works. You know, really keen to give it a bit of a whirl. So let's give it down. All right, kind of just cut back to uh, editing myself in the office. But uh, we're down here at Easton Creek at the moment, uh, doing a day event with Australian Drift Club. Club? Far out. We're even stuffing this one up. Um, yeah, so everyone's kind of lining up at the moment. It's about 8 a.m. But yeah, it's a full day out at Eastern Creek uh, GP circuit. So I haven't actually done a GP circuit in a long time. Um, but yeah, I should probably get into there and start shooting some stuff. But um, I am absolutely loving this uh, flip screen so I can actually see myself what I'm shooting at. And the face tracking. Oh, it's beautiful. I'll get into it. It's a good shadow. She's for the boys.
Morning's gone not too bad at the moment. There's a bit of delay trying to, to get the cars out and onto the, onto the track. Um, for the setup right now, I'm currently using the, well, not right now, I'm using the 28 to 70. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm using the Sony 100 to 400, uh, 4.5 to 5.6. Um, and I've quickly noticed that um, it's not the camera's doing, it's my doing. The, the ND, variable ND filter that I use on the front of it, it's very cheap. Um, and at full range of, you know, 300 to 400, you know, max sort of uh, zoom, uh, the filter actually makes it soft off towards the uh, towards the tailing end of it all. Um, so I'm gonna have to run the rest of the day um, exposing with my shutter, which I, I really don't want to do. Um, but yeah, I've got to invest in some uh, some decent filters for it. Um, but yeah, so far the camera has just been doing exactly what I want it to be doing. Um, the focusing, like the focusing, is just phenomenal. Uh, you know, touch focus. Whether if I'm doing any of the gimbal work. Um, but yeah, I'm currently uh, chasing a, a mate of mine, uh, Chris from Josie Coffee, around the track at the moment. He's got a, a new 2J build in his IS, and uh, it sounds amazing. It sounds amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to get around to the different corners. So far, I'm on uh, corner two, corner three, and uh, just trying to test out the 100 frames, test out the 50 frames. Um, yeah, and it's just, you know, being able to actually see myself to, to do vlogs and looking at the rear camera the, the, sorry, the, I'm looking at the rear, uh, rear uh, flip out screen and like I'm just watching it track my, my face everywhere. It's just, I'll turn, turn back, it's on, on, on. This is great. Um, but anyways, I'm chewing through the batteries. That, that was going to be a given. This camera is definitely uh, working a lot harder than what my A7 was. Um, but yeah, I'll keep shooting. That's a wrap. Uh, just finishing off a little bit early today. I've got to head back home. Um, mate, I cannot fault this camera. Minus the, uh, I guess the viewfinder. Viewfinder, I knew going for uh, FX3 over A7 S3, I would have lost my, uh, losing the viewfinder. Um, but yeah, I didn't have my uh, cage and monitor ready to, ready to attach uh, for this event anyway. But I know that that's only going to get better. But um, yeah, honestly, everything about the camera, um, the focusing, touch focusing, that is just sensational. Um, and also looking at all the, the actual f red flag lights to say that I'm actually recording. Because if you, you know, if oh, going into the tunnel, if you're like me with a A7 III, who no doubt have hit record by accident and then hit stop to think that you are recording and you've just wasted so much of your time and uh, probably losing a lot of footage. Um, but anyways, uh, back to Scott in the studio. All right, we're back. Um, that outro in the car, I ran out of what I was actually gonna say. So um, this is more of the official 
finishing up of the video. Um, a couple of things I wanted to bring back up about the camera and shooting at, at Eastern Creek. Some of my settings were actually pretty wrong on the camera. I didn't realize at the time. I thought I was shooting S-Log 10-bit. Uh, then I changed the frame rate to shoot a bit more, you know, high speed, slow motion. And it actually changed it down to 8-bit. And uh, for all, all of us camera nerds, you know, you're paying the FX, you know, three to, for the 10 bit, you know, that's, it's huge. But luckily, uh, you know, a mate of mine that I met at Eastern Creek, uh, Clyde, he's an absolute whiz, he's actually a Sony ambassador. Within, you know, 10 minutes of the FaceTime, we've gone through the camera, we've set it up properly. You know, there's a lot more of an understanding, you know, I've jumped into this cinema sort of range and there's so much more to, to shoot properly with it. And I think that's very important to be actually, uh, to using the camera correctly. He actually runs workshops for Sony cameras, photos, videos, lenses, how to use them. Um, and, you know, within 10 minutes for me to actually work this stuff out with him, I think actually doing a workshop myself would be highly beneficial. Um, but yeah, his socials I'll put down somewhere down here, but definitely go check him out. But anyway, to wrap up this video, uh, if, you know, this is something that you guys like seeing and you want to see more of this, yeah, let us know in the comments, um, but also, you know, first five comments, uh, I'm happy to give away, you know, a sticker pack. First five up there, shoot us a message on Instagram of your social details, you know, your address, Not nothing creepy. But yeah, I'll post out the, uh, post out the sticker packs, but thanks very much and I'll catch you on the next one.